hello everyone in this video i will explain file handling in tcl so uh, in this uh, tutorial i will show you how to write in a file and how to read content from a file so every file handling program will be uh, written in three steps first one we need to open that file then we will perform our task whether it is reading or writing and last one we have to close the file well, and now uh, you need to understand this fact that uh, if we are working on file it's better to close that file because every process has a limited number of file descriptor so if our application wants to work on a huge number of file so how we will write our program whenever we are done with one file we will close it so let's have a look on this code uh, first we will open the file so how to open a file there is a command open and then name of file so let's say i'm writing a i'm taking this file 2.txt and this file actually doesn't exist and third parameter we have to pass mode so uh, in tcl programming we are having b mode we are having read mode so this mode as name imply read only then we are having write mode write only then we are having r so let me write all mode for you read only r plus read and write both w write only w plus read and write both a append mode so we can say only write and last one a plus read write both so in writing actually this is a appending now the difference between these two uh, read write and this read write uh, in this one whatever file we are specifying if that file doesn't exist here that file not created but here if that file doesn't ex exist it will create that file so first we will open our file in write mode so if in, uh, we, we don't have any file with this name and how this write mo mode works it will open a file in write only mode but if that file doesn't exist it will create that file so this file will be created 2.txt now next thing we want to write something so let's say i want to write uh, hello tcl welcome to file handling so here i have to specify file descriptor which is dollar f so when we write this line, this line will be written in file 2.txt and once our work is done we will close the file. Now let's execute this program. Okay so this program is executed and I want to see whether that file is created or not so I will run cat command 2. TXT. So if you can see this line actually written in this program, uh, sorry, in this file. Okay. Uh, hello TCL, welcome to file handling. So what I'm doing here, I am writing that line again and again. So I have written the same line three times. I will execute my program, and again, if I will see, so this is the content of my file. Now let's say. Uh, I want to read this file through a TCL program. So here I will open that file again. Open name of file 2.txt and mode. So here we are specifying read only mode. And how to read it? Dollar sorry get as command will be used for reading F1 and line. So this command actually read one line from this file that line will be stored in this variable 
and then we are printing that variable on screen and here we are closing our file execute our program oh, sorry so if you can see uh, our file we are actually having three lines and this get as command can read only one line at a time so if we don't know how many number of lines are there in file uh, there is a method eof that method will return whether we are at end of file or not so what we will do we will use a while loop and this while loop the condition we will write EO, eof dollar f1 So here what is the meaning of this one? This command EOF, this command will return true if we reach at the end of file. So here we have given our file descriptor dollar $f1. Uh, so here we will read first line. So in that case we are not at end of file so it will return false which will be converted into true using this not operator. So it will read the line and it will print it. Again it will check whether we reach that end of file or not. So this loop will print all the content of a file. So let's have a look on the output. So now it's printing all lines. So these are the basic file handling in PCL programming. Hope you like it. Thank you very much for watching.